Here is the first stage of wastewater treatment. Namely, all large garbage is removed from the sewage system, which, for various reasons, turned out to be in it. Excellent smell. Sewage is filtered through gratings and rags. Paper and kitchen scraps are ranked and dropped under the conveyor belt. Most likely, our sensors were caught at this stage and, apparently, along with other garbage, already fell under the press. The rammed waste is then disposed of at the landfill. Well, the drains are passed through sand traps and sent here to close sedimentation tanks. Then biological water treatment begins. In these aerated ponds, bacteria decompose organic contaminants, purifying water. What in nature lasts for weeks, here occurs in a matter of hours. The most favorable conditions are created for microorganisms. After secondary sedimentation tanks, where water is separated from bacteria, it is already considered to be practically pure. For comparison, we show you tap water. This is the water that we drink, and our purified water, the quality of which we get after purification. You can see the tap water isn't particularly different, the same. Well, the most important thing is that it's different from this water, right? Yes. At the last stage of treatment, the sewage water has such a poisonous green color. But this is not the result of the action of any chemicals. More than 6,000 of these quartz lamps installed in 17 channels below me complete the stages of sewage water treatment. Ultraviolet eliminates all pathogenic flora. Well, or simply speaking, disinfects the water. Strangely enough, the most powerful ultraviolet killing bacteria doesn't cause a feeling of discomfort in small fishes. Here they eat, live, reproduce, which allows us to judge the quality of purified water. Well, it's time for sewage water to return to nature. Without it, the lower reaches of the Moscow River would drop by a third. It takes 14 hours for dirty sewage to pass through all the treatment facilities to get to this channel flowing into the Moscow River. And it's worth noting that the water here is chemically and bacteriologically even slightly better than water in the river.